Trump's releasing another memo. You'll love this next one even more by Sassy Liberty for FreedomDaily.com. In a bombshell interview after the release of the four-page FISA memo on Friday, Devin Nunez revealed that this is merely phase one and there would be more memos released as the committee concluded its investigation into abuse of FISA warrants by the Obama administration. And the State Department is next. What is being revealed is an Exxonian uh, media drama unfolding before our very eyes as the very people charged with upholding the very laws they are charged with writing now seem to believe they are somehow above those very same laws. As a result, they are vehemently opposed to transparency as many work at exposing the corrupt institution they fought tooth and nail against the release of a document that exposes government wrongdoing and corruption in all its foul glory. Appearing on Fox News special report with host Brett Baer, Nunez states that uh, the uh, release of this initial first memo of, on FISA abuse was only the beginning of their investigation. When asked uh, by Brett uh, Baer, uh, if more memos uh, would come out, Nunez responded, yes, this uh, completes just the FISA abuse portion of our investigation, adding that the investigation is ongoing. We are in the middle of what I call phase two of our investigation, which involves other departments, Nunez continued, specifically the State Department and some of the involvement they had in this. That investigation is ongoing and we continue to uh, work uh, towards finding answers and asking the right questions to try to get to the bottom of what exactly the State Department was up to in terms of this Russia investigation. Breaking, Devin Nunez said that this is just the first memo to be released. He says there will be another one dealing specifically with the State Department's role in everything that happened. I'll take a listen to that as I read further. Nunez further revealed that although he himself was heavily involved in the compilation of the current memo just released, and he plans to continue to be heavily involved in the compilation and release of future memos. However, he states he has not yet seen the FISA application mentioned in the memo due to an agreement with the Justice Department. He states the agreement was made with the Department of Justice uh, was to create a reading room and allow one member and two investigators to review the documents. I thought the best person on our committee will be the chairman of the Oversight Committee, Representative Trey Gowdy. They would come back with their notes and brief uh, the rest of us, the committee members. Prior to his congressional career, Representative Trey Gowdy served as a federal prosecutor for the U.S. Attorney for the District of South Carolina from 1994 to 2000, and then as the District Attorney for South Carolina's Seventh Judicial Circuit. Many believe that, uh, including Nunez, that Gowdy will be a bulldog as well as a man of integrity in a case that clearly needs such a man. At this point, it is unclear as to just what role the State Department may have had in the Fourth Amendment and surveillance abuses outlined in the memo. Yet, those such as the Washington Examiner's Byron York note it is of significance that former MI6 spy Christopher Steele was uh, well-connected with the Obama State Department. This relationship between Steele and the Obama State Department, led by none other than Hillary Clinton, has also been noted by The Guardian correspondent Luke Harding in his book Collusion, Secret Meetings, Dirty Money, and How Russia Helped Donald Trump Win. Harding notes Steele's work during the uh, World Cup soccer corruption investigation earned the trust of both FBI and the State Department under the Obama administration. The soccer episode burnished uh, Steele's reputation. Inside the uh, U.S. intelligence community and the FBI, <clears throat> excuse me, here, uh, here was a pro, he was a pro, a well-connected uh, Brit who understood Russian espionage and its uh, 
subterranean trick, Steele was uh, regarded as credible. Between 2014 and 2016, Steele authored more than 100 reports on Russia and Ukraine. These uh, were written for a private client but shared widely within the State Department and set up to Secretary of State John Kerry and to Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Nuland, who was in charge of the U.S. response to the Ukraine crisis. Many of Steele's secret sources were the same sources who would supply information on Trump. One former State Department envoy during the Obama administration said he read dozens of Steele's reports on Russia. The envoy said that on Russia, Steele was as good as the CIA or anyone. Steele's professional reputation inside U.S. agencies would prove important the next time he discovered alarming material and lit the fuse again. Uh, the Washington Examiner also notes that aside from the now debunked infamous Trump-Russia dossier and old salacious 35-page glory on, uh, assembled uh, at the behest of Hillary and the DNC by opposition research firm Fusion GPS, congressional investigators are now also looking into whether Steele may have compiled other additional phony reports on President Donald Trump and whether or not those reports have made their way to the State Department. York states uh, they are looking into whether those reports made their way to the State Department. They are also seeking to learn what individual State Department official did in relation to Steele and whether there were any contacts between the State Department and the FBI or Justice Department concerning the anti-Trump material. In the coming months, it will be interesting to see how both the Trump administration and the State Department, led now by Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, will respond to Phase 2 and the media circus that will ensue. It's, uh, e it is easier uh, just to say the Russians did it and be done with it. Thinking is uh, really hard and critical thinking is impossible. Now, where did I put my safe space? Representative Michael Williams uh, said it best, the leadership of the FBI and DOJ behaved in a way we would expect of the former Soviet Union, not the United States of America. I applaud Representative Nunez and other Republican members of the House Intel Committee for fighting and exposing corruption. Americans are tired of corrupt bureaucrats and their career politi uh, politi polit politician, uh, oh, pol or political enablers, I would say. Uh, if powerful leaders are not held accountable, the American people will never regain uh, faith in the institutions meant to protect us. Former FBI Director James Comey was entrusted with one of the most powerful positions in the world. Sadly, he intentionally abused his power in an effort to destroy Donald Trump's presidency. He should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law and sent to prison for his crimes. No one is above the law, no one. Um, this is a 13 minute clip. I have it on one of my videos that I put up today, which is that long one, about a 20 minute video or something. Uh, but here is the, the short version of what Nunez is saying here. See, but you know there are some members who are using this to question the Mueller investigation. Are you separating the two? Well, I think what's happening is I think the mainstream media and the Democrats uh, are tying this to the Mueller investigation because they're trying to perpetuate this nonsense of obstruction of justice because they've left the Russia collusion issue. They know there was no collusion. Uh, and, and, you know, I've been saying this for a year now that there was no evidence of collusion. Are there other so now you fast forward. Are there other memos, ahead, memos that are going to come out? Are there other memos? You said this was phase one. Yeah, so this, so this completes uh, just the FISA abuse portion uh, of our investigation. Uh, we, are, we are in the middle of what I call phase two of our investigation, which involves other departments, uh, specifically the State Department and some of the involvement that they had in this. Uh, that investigation is ongoing, uh, and we continue to work towards uh, finding answers uh, and, and asking uh, the right questions to try to get to the bottom. Uh, what exactly the State Department uh, was up to in terms of this Russian investigation. Quickly, Mr. Chairman, uh, some people have called you a Russian agent. Others have <laughs> said you should be fired. Uh, the models today on cable TV were pretty amazing. Um, your thoughts in dealing with all of this in the job that you have? 
Yeah, it's actually uh, quite enjoyable uh, because because uh, we have the underlying facts. We've been investigating this for a really long time. So you know that you're over the target yeah. when you're being attacked from all sides. Mr. Chairman, and we so have to leave it there. The computer's going to cut us off. We appreciate the time, uh, sir, and uh, we will follow it up. Well, thank you, Brett. Thank you. That that's all that the that the Democrats can come up with that Nunez is a Russian spy. But I'd like to know: Is Hillary tweeting anymore today or yesterday? Uh, Obama? Anybody on them? Or is it dead silence? You know what I'm saying? And she has her cronies out there like uh, Comey and uh, McCain to do her dirty work with Obama. You know, it's uh. Uh, this is just the beginning, folks. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.